Another common transfer is to, tra is to make a mound of bubbles, basically transferring gases uh, to some soap bubble solution. And uh, this is a favorite uh, when something combustible uh, is, is being used. So I've got some hydrogen here and again the oxygen from before. I'll perform the transfer. I want to mix these two to one. Um, notice in the hydrogen syringe I've got the little vial cap that was there from the generation of the hydrogen gas. We'll use that to help mix the gases. Well, if I need these mixed two to one, I, I've got too much hydrogen, so let me uh, get rid of all but 40 milliliters of it. Hydrogen, by the way, is one of the few gases that uh, where you have to be careful and, and remove the cap with the syringe, with the plunger upward, because hydrogen is so much lighter in air and its molecular speed is so fast that it does sneak out on you, but if you take the cap off with it directed down, you don't lose very much at all. To this, I'm going to transfer uh, 20 mils of oxygen. I'm going to just uh, clean out the little latex tube because it's been sitting around for a bit. Make sure there's mostly oxygen in the tube. Connect them up. And transfer 20 mils. When properly lubricated, the plungers move by themselves. Sometimes, though, it's necessary to give them a little wiggle. Okay, now I've got a hydrogen-oxygen mixture. And I'll do two things. I'll change the label so I know that it's hydrogen and oxygen. And then allow the little cap inside there to help the gases mix. Because I, I can't really see either gas, uh, but now it sounds like a paint can, spray paint can. Now the gases are probably mixed fairly well. To transfer the gases to a soap bubble solution, I'll use either transfer tube. And uh, this is uh, a um, solution of 3% Dawn just right from the kitchen. Um, and then I can make a nice mound of bubbles. This is called dynamite soap. And uh, it'll make sort of a loud bang if I were to ignite it. So make as big a uh, mound as you want. And then I'll cap the syringe. And uh, We'll go ahead and ignite it. This will be sort of loud. Okay. Clean up our mess just a wee bit. Well, this mixture uh, is a lot of fun. And um, let's transfer it to a, a small rocket, which we can launch. So the, the next uh, technique for transferring is to uh, transfer to a, a rocket made out of a little pipette. And to do that, first we need a rocket. Uh, we'll just take a, a big body pipette here, and it's a thick stem. Cut off part of it. And now we'd like to fill this rocket with the gas mixture. And then we'll ignite the rocket. Um, to do that, We'll use a, an empty Amon flame. That's uh, all the gas is gone. And uh, I wired to the two electrodes these two wires. Um, the instructions for this are on the website and in both of our books. And I'll talk about those a little bit later. Uh, but anyway, when I pull the trigger here, a little spark arcs across the uh, tips of the electrodes. OK, so to fill the rocket, we'll use water again. Students like this technique. I guess I can just do it this way. Because it makes a big watery mess. And then it's fun to, we need plenty of water in here 
for the next part. Okay, the uh, lure fitting on the syringes will fit exactly inside the rocket, or the rocket fits perfectly inside it, excuse me. And uh, to transfer gases, we want to uh, do this at about a 45 degree angle so that the bubbles crawl up along the side of the rocket. Now I've completely displaced all the water and I'll just pull some water into the neck of the pipette so that the gases don't escape. The next thing I want to do is slip the rocket over the electrodes and then I'll uh, launch the rocket and it'll fly off in that direction. So now the water usually leaves the um, pipette stem at that point so you simply just pull a little bit more up. Oop, having a little problem today. Okay, there we go. All set, we'll pull the trigger and it flies a good 20 feet or more.